Okay, let's look how we can use a build box checkpoint system to give an option of extra life to a player. We're gonna use a 3D space shooter template for this tutorial. Let's see what we're starting with. We can shoot the enemy and collect the points. And when we collide, we get our game over screen, displays our score, and the reset button. So what we want to do is add an extra live button here. The extra live button will restart the game, but keep the score. So let's start doing it. Go to our game overview. Let's add a object. And we'll put it down there. Scale it to three. Let's add a label. Change the label color to greenish. And let's call the label extra life. Okay. And then what we'll need is is touch. We will load checkpoint. And On start, do a, make a menu jump. Let's rename the event to Extra Life. And if we go to our mind map, now we have Game Over, and it has Extra Life. Let's connect Extra Life back to loading the game. So if we run, we get the Extra Life. We get Extra Life, we restart the game, but our score is not persistent. Okay, so. We added the low checkpoint on our extra life button. Now we need to create checkpoints. So we will use the point as a checkpoint. Add a checkpoint and let's add a delay. So we will have race condition with add points because we want to set a checkpoint as after that point was added. And let's just make a 100 millisecond delay. So we have a checkpoint and now we have to go to our game world and we want to add checkpoint loader. So we add a checkpoint loader. We want to restart the scene so we will not need to load the current scene and uh, the characters from our checkpoint. So we can remove that. Instead, we will set our scene score points to our last checkpoint score. Now, how we're gonna get score is we'll create our own score counter. So let's initialize it. So whenever the game starts, it's initialized at zero. And when we are loading checkpoint, we will want to get the checkpoint score. That's the variable that we'll be using to pass the scoring and set our score points to checkpoint score too. So now we need to create an, a way to keep counting our score points. So let's go to our point and in add point script, let's also increment our counter as well. And we can even great ability for resetting it too. This modifies the add points. So the last thing is when we set checkpoint, let's write our score to the checkpoint. So we'll just set checkpoint score to settings our score points. Also, we want to remove object after delay. Let's play, start, let's see. Collect a point, collide, and that's the start and starts from here. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.